Hello there, welcome to another video in this Zero training series. I am the Bookkeeping Master. This is video two. In this video, I'm going to show you the chart of accounts on Zero. If you've joined the series here, then go back and watch video one. In the previous video, I showed you how to add company information onto the software and how to set the company financial year. In this video, as already mentioned, we're going to go through the chart of accounts. If you've come to Zero from other accounting software such as Sage, then you might know the chart of accounts as the nominal ledger or the list of nominal codes. The chart of accounts is the index. It is the library of all the financial accounts of the software on the software. It is the general ledger. Some of these terms you may not have heard of before. I'm just trying to cover everybody that's listening so they know what the chart of accounts is. We access the chart of accounts by going to accounting up here. Under advanced, it should show chart of accounts. If it's not showing, if you don't have anything under advanced or if advanced is not showing at all, or there are different options down here. Don't panic. I'll show you how to fix that now. So going back to where we were in the last video, clicking to the top left here and going to settings. We're not going to go to organization details like we did last time. We're going to go to advanced settings and you can see the chart of accounts. And I have this star. It's been starred. It is a favorite of mine. Because it's been starred, it appears under that accounting heading under advanced. If it's not starred, it's not going to show. So if I star chart of accounts, that will now show under the accounting heading and I can access it under that heading in future. While you're here, there might be other features of the software that you know you're going to use that you can star. If you know you're going to be using fixed assets, you can star that. If you know you're going to use journals, you can star that. Go through and star whichever features you want to easily access in future. They will then appear for you. So let's just do charts of accounts and fixed assets. When I go back to the software, under accounting now, I have charts of accounts and fixed assets. It's a miracle. So you just click on those stars for these options to appear. So let's click on chart of accounts and let's have a look. So this is the chart of accounts. All the assets, liabilities, sales, bank accounts, equity accounts, all the accounts are showing here within the chart of accounts. A lot of the lists on Zero work the same. You can click on the headings in order to, to display the information in a different order, to display the information differently. So at the moment, the codes are in numerical order based on the number of the code. You can do that in reverse numerical order by clicking it again. If we want them to, do, to display in alphabetical order by account name, we can click on that. Perhaps we want them to display in type or tax rate. Just click on these headings to do that. You can actually see the chart of accounts by type of account. If you want to group, if you want to filter this information, there are tabs here. So if we are only interested in asset nominal accounts, click on assets and then only the asset codes will show. Same with expenses. If I click here, that will show. So that can be an easier way to get to learn the chart of accounts or find codes that you're looking for. There's also this search feature. So if you're looking for a particular code, you can search for it here. So I've typed in wage and any nominal codes, any nominal accounts that have that term in the name. We have direct wages, wage payables, wage payables, payroll are now showing. So that's the chart of accounts. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to edit 
these accounts how to add new ones and we're going to go into the charter accounts in a bit more detail a couple more things to mention really before this video ends a lot of these lists can be multiple pages especially once you've been using zero for a while and have lots of information if we had say 500 codes on here there's going to be pages and pages of this stuff so you can switch from page to page here you can also choose how many codes or items are displayed on a list i have 200 if you only want to show 10 at a time you can click 10 there's going to be a lot more pages then obviously but you only have 10 codes showing whatever you prefer you can export the charts of accounts as well as print so if you want a hard copy if you're trying to learn the charts of accounts the numbers how they're grouped together then perhaps print in a pdf and having that on your desk having a hard copy may help you to learn fantastic i'll speak to you in the next video thank you so much for watching if this is helpful so far please like please subscribe it really helps comments likes and subscriptions really give a boost to these videos really help me out so please go ahead and do that and i'll speak to you in video three